Welcome to tonight's video on section 4.4. We're going to be graphing trig functions. We're going to be graphing the sine and cosine function. When graphing the sine function, there are five major points to remember. Because think about it this way. When x is 0, the sine of 0 is 0. At pi over 2, the sine of pi over 2 is 1. At 3, sorry, at pi, the sine of pi is 0. At 3 pi over 2, it's negative 1. And then back at 2 pi, it's 0 again. So when we graph the sine function, there are five main points that we need to graph. 0, pi over 2, pi, 3 pi over 2, and then back to 2 pi. So at 0, it's 0. At pi over 2, it's 1. Pi is 0. 3 pi over 2 is negative 1. And back to 2 pi is 0. So the sine graph looks like a wave. It goes up, down, and then back up again. And it would just keep repeating itself. But remember, we're only going to look at one period or one uh, unit circle of the sine graph. For the cosine, the cosine of 0 is 1. The cosine of pi over 2 is 0. The cosine of pi is negative 1. Cosine of 3 pi over 2 is 0. And the cosine of 2 pi is positive 1. So if we look at the cosine curve, sorry, at 0, pi over 2, pi, 3 pi over 2, and 2 pi. So the cosine starts at 1, then pi over 2 is 0, pi is negative 1, 3 pi over 2 is 0, and 2 pi is back to 1. So if you look, it looks like a bell curve, where you start at the top, and you drop down and then go back up. You could also call it a roller coaster, where it gives you up to the top and then drops you down and then back up again. So those are the five points for the cosine. Now if you remember from first semester, we did transformations. The correct order of transformations, remember the first thing you want to look for is horizontal, stretch, or shrink. Now, this horizontal stretch or shrink will also tell you how many times that the graph will repeat itself within the unit circle. The sine and cosine graphs are what we call periodic, meaning they repeat themselves after a certain amount, and each period is 2 pi. So, if there is a horizontal stretch or shrink, we're going to multiply it by 2 pi to get the period. The second thing you look for is a reflection over the y-axis. The third thing you look for is a horizontal shift. This is also known as the phase shift. The next thing you look for is a vertical stretch or shrink.
And in trigonometry, this is known as the amplitude. The next thing you look for is a reflection across or over the x-axis. And then last or not least is the vertical shift. So if you look at the next page, the first question says to find the period of the sine of negative 2x. Remember the period is affected by the horizontal stretch or shrink. Here there is a horizontal shrink by one half. Remember you take the reciprocal of the number in front of the x. Remember the negative sign does not matter because that only affects reflections. So there's a horizontal shrink by one half. So the period is equal to one half times two pi, which is equal to pi. So the period of this function is pi, which means now instead of the sign repeating itself after pi, it'll repeat itself after two pi. To get the phase shift, Remember, the phase shift is the horizontal shift. And remember, the first thing you want to do is factor out the number in front of the x. So to factor out the 2. Now this pi over 5, when you factor out a 2, remember that's the same as dividing by 2. So dividing by 2 is the same as multiplying by 1 half. So it's going to be pi over 10. So our phase shift here, or horizontal shift, is to the left, pi over 10. The amplitude. The amplitude is the same as the vertical stretch or shrink. Here there's a vertical stretch by 3. So therefore, the amplitude is equal to 3 in this function. All right, so let's do an example of a curve, and this is the cosine curve. So let's list the transformations. First of all, there is no number in front of the x other than 1, so there is not a horizontal stretch or shrink, which means the period is going to be 2 pi, because there's no number to multiply it by other than 1. There is no reflection across the y because there's no negative sign there. There is a phase shift or a horizontal shift and it is to the right by pi over 4. Next, there's a vertical stretch by 5. Then there's a reflection over the x-axis. And there is no vertical shift. Now, because there's a horizontal shift to the right, the phase shift, is to the right pi over 4. And because there's a vertical stretch by 5, the amplitude is equal to 5. And because there is no horizontal stretch or shrink, that means the period is going to be remain 2 pi. So we're going to make a chart. And remember, for the cosine, we have our original points of 0, 1, pi over 2, 0, pi negative 1, 3 pi over 2, 0, and 2 pi is back to 1. 
Now the transformations that are happening, there's a shift right pi over 4, so x plus pi over 4. There's a vertical stretch by 5 and a reflection over the y. Now, when we add pi over 4 to 0, we get pi over 4 times 5 gives us 5, and then multiply by negative 1 gives us negative 5. Pi over 2 plus pi over 4 gives us 3 pi over 4, and then times 5, 0 times 5 is still 0, and negative y still gives us 0. Pi plus pi over 4 gives you 5 pi over 4, and then times 5 gives you negative 5. And then times negative 1 gives you positive 5. 3 pi over 2 plus pi over 4. Well, 3 over 2, remember, is 6 over 4 plus 1 over 4 gives us 7 pi over 4. 0 times 5 is 0. And negative 0 still gives you 0. 2 is 8 over 4, plus 1 is 9 over 4. And then times 5 gives you 5 for y, but then times negative 1 gives you negative 5. All right, so then it wants us to graph this. So we're going to graph, draw a graph here. Now, understand it, the, here's how we're going to scale it. The beginning x is pi over 4, so each mark we're going to make on the x-axis is worth pi over 4. So 2 pi over 4, 3 over 4, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 pi over 4 is the end. Alright, so each mark on the x-axis is pi over 4. On the y-axis, we're going to go up to 5 and down to negative 5. Now remember, our p amplitude is 5, our period is 2 pi, and our phase shift is to the right pi over 4. Those are the things we found out when we did the transformations. When we graph the points, pi over 4 gives us negative 5, 3 pi over 4 gives us 0, 5 pi over 4 gives you 5, 7 pi over 4 gives you 0, 9 pi over 4 gives you negative 5. So notice the curve looks like that. And notice because it starts at pi over 4, that means the phase shift was to the right because normally it starts at 0. So it moved over to the right. The amplitude was 5, so now instead of going to 1 and negative 1, it goes to 5 and negative 5. All right, so that was the example of a graph. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you have any questions, please feel free to ask in class.